back at the Alpensia Sports Park, and we are just a single run away in the Big Air event from crowning the 2018 Winter Olympics champion. And the question on everyone's lips here in Alpensia is the same. Can he do it? In 10 seconds, he's going to find out if a lifetime of training... You know, going to the Olympics is... In the world of sport, legends surface only once in a single generation. At the 2018 Olympic Winter Games in South Korea, a new legend is on the cusp of emerging as one freestyle athlete attempts to make history. But to reach that moment, and what the cheering crowds don't see, requires dedication, sacrifice, failure, and ultimately, passion.
start from. Despite the increasing specialization in freestyle snowboard disciplines, the addition of snowboard big air into the 2018 Olympic Winter Games lets us dream about the birth of legends like Usain Bolt, Carl Lewis, and Michael Phelps. For the first time, a single freestyle athlete could feasibly walk away with three medals across slope style, half pipe, and big air. single athlete to win three medals in yeah so yeah there's you know pipe slope style big air and a couple people might do all three but they won't they're not gonna get gold in all of them because it's too yeah it's too specialized now it's crazy yeah it's pretty tough <laughs> definitely pretty tough With 159 days until South Korea, he travels with the other athletes to the national training camp in Japan during the summer of 2017.
Bon, déjà, quand on en arrive à faire des compétitions de slope style de haut niveau, ça veut dire que les tricks, on les a. Ils sont acquis, ça veut dire qu'à l'entraînement avant, au printemps, été, automne, on les a bouffés, on en a fait des centaines pour optimiser le moment où, en compétition, on n'aura plus besoin de se demander la manière dont il faut faire pour que le trick arrive sur les pieds. Ça, c'est acquis. Ce qu'il y a durant slope style ou en pipe, c'est d'enchaîner, faire une figure, puis de passer à l'autre, puis de passer au rail, et puis de repasser une figure, de repasser au rail. Et de... Voilà, c'est surtout sur ça qu'on affine les moments où on est sur les compétitions. C'est pas trop sur la technique euh, proprement dite. Quoi. À ce point, neither he nor the coaches know what the final design of the slope style park being constructed in Dongcheng will look like. So his goal at the national training camp is to utilize the park's features to practice the tricks he plans to use during the competitive season, while also beginning to think about the run he wants to unveil in South Korea. Each one of these athletes considers it an honor and a privilege to be selected to train at the national training camp in Japan, even though many are aware they won't make the final shortlist for the 2018 Olympic Winter Games.
Before each run, it's kind of, you know, I'm pretty focused on what I'm gonna do. I'm like kind of looking at the course. I'm in my head a lot and just, you know, visualizing myself going through each feature. You know, I'm a bit nervous. I have like some butterflies, but it's like excitement at the same time. And it's just, you know, some like adrenaline that's like ex getting me ready to drop in. It's a crazy, lots of different emotions going through your head. Um, there's a sense of doubt, but there's also this huge sense of belief that you can do it. I'm very stressed, all the time, very, very stressed. I've always had the feeling that I'm not going to get it. All this anxiety that I'm in when I'm in my bed or a few hours before the competition, ben, pff, elle, elle se transforme en, en précision et en, en power, quoi. At the first major Big Air event of the 2016 season in Japan, there is a huge amount of excitement and pressure in the air after the International Olympic Committee announced during the summer of 2015 that the discipline would be included for the first time at the 2018 Olympic Winter Games. With Big Air now thrust into the world spotlight, talk begins of which athletes will be the ones to journey to Pyeongchang. Welcome to the first of four events here in Japan. And with the IOC announcement that Big Air will be a part of the 2018 Games, the guessing game begins as to who will be the one to watch in two years' time. That's why we're expecting plenty of surprises in coming months. So focused, so in the zone, this is simply unbelievable to watch. Ooh, now that's what I call a good day's work. Into the rodeo and hitting the landing with zero problems. Oh, just going down at the end. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. A front flip, nice and clean with a very smooth landing. some huge risk here with those massive tricks, but every one of them is paying off big dividends. <laughs> that would have been so smooth that that landing hadn't been botched. No, 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 no! Oh, big, big fall right there. That trick was hitting home. Ah, just going down at the end. And into the front flip, smooth, with a very smooth landing. Look at the length of that grab on that head spinning 14. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. That was an insane jump. Let's see if the big air is put to. Oh, taking some huge risk here with those massive tricks, but every one of them is paying off big dividends. Cracking work, sir. Cracking work. Running through tricks like it was nothing. This run is a master class. 
killed it. Nicely into the 540. <laughs> Big Air is the kind of event that makes you jump out of your seat and shout, did that just happen? Yes, it did. And nobody here was expecting a debut run like that. I mean, what a start to the season. He really came out swinging with that performance. So the big question is whether or not it was just a lucky run. Let's find out. Plenty of air coming out of that jump, but will it be used? Connecting the grab to the 1080. <laughs> Dropping triple rodeo with a grab. Oh, yes! Decent air with that jump. Time to follow up with a meaty trick. Cracking work, sir. Cracking work. Put to good use. Locked on grab on that double rodeo. Oh, yeah! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! He played that just a little too safe for me. I mean, there was nothing that really stood out about that run, so I think work needs to be done. He wants to go the distance. So far, we have seen huge, huge performances at the first two events from him here in Japan. So what I want to know is can he make it three for three today? So focused, so in the zone, this is simply unbelievable to watch. A clean grab during that massive double court. like this we are watching history unfold here no stopping me today oh nailed it this guy has come out here today and basically said to every other competitor come on come get me that was incredible while the pressure of competing is already enough for any athlete no one was prepared for the outcome of the third run of the day here in Japan. The world's first quadruple in competition was landed. In 10 seconds, the landscape shifted, and the scramble to match that monumental moment was now on. You can really feel the tension amongst the athletes after that quad backflip landing earlier today. Like, how do you follow that? I don't think you can. But if he wants to, he's going to have to dig deep into his bag of tricks. Yeah. Nailed the grab during that 1440. Like it was nothing. This run is a master class. Good air coming. 
coming off that jump. Let's hope we see a stylish trick. A perfect grab, and I'm so unlucky. Hopefully that won't hurt the score too much at the end. Whew, now that's what I call a good day's work. Well, he gave it one heck of a shot and turned in a super impressive start. What a kickoff to the season with that quad backflip and our first glimpse of... しっかりこういう風にやってオリンピックここでは良い結果取れるようにと思ってやってきた部分が人一倍あったと思うからあんまりハーフパイプ以外は連れてこなかったですねこの4年はみんなというか仲間とフリーライディングで楽しくやる時
The harsh reality of what lies ahead rears its head once again. Preparation and training for the 2018 Games. So we had our test event this year. I won that event, which was pretty cool. So that was my first time in Korea. Uh, the half pipe was probably one of the best half pipes I've ever ridden in my life. En slope style, l'épreuve préolympique elle a eu lieu en 2016, et c'était un truc hyper créatif. Ils ont créé de multiples accès sur les rails, sur les sauts. Ils ont fait des sauts de côté. Ils ont fait un truc génial. And by really going more creative with the course designs and trying to think outside the box and make these courses that are very different from one another. It allows runs to be a lot more unique and for people to stand out by doing something creative, doing something really difficult on a scary feature, whatever it is. And I think that um, the South Korea event will, will, definitely, will definitely showcase that. While slope style competitions have played a major role in snowboarding, both before and after its inclusion in the 2014 Olympic Winter Games in Sachi, it became clear that events were becoming tiresome when style began to take a backseat in favor of a spin to win mentality. For South Korea, design has been brought back to the fore. For many of the athletes, the course in Phoenix Snow Park promises to be one of the most creative in any slope style event to date. And two years out from the 2018 games, he's handed his first opportunity to experience it. He's able to test out the innovative and extremely progressive course, quickly realizing that its stunning design gives him a huge amount of options that will ultimately influence his final run in 2018.
on s'est demandé ce que le décalage allait nous faire. Combien de jours avant il fallait qu'on arrive pour être bien les premiers jours des entraînements Donc on a regardé à peu près, voilà, ça, ça nous a servi à ça déjà. Ensuite, on a vu le site de compétition. Donc euh, on, on a vu ce que nous proposait le pipe. C'est un pipe où on peut faire que 4 hits. D'habitude, on en a 5, voire 6. Ça veut dire que pour les jeux, on risque de proposer un truc d'un peu particulier. Et puis aussi pour la neige, on a pris notre ski tech avec nous. Les températures, euh, tout. D'avoir un accès au site, c'est bien parce que ça enlève encore une fois une, une partie de tout le stress qu'il y aura. Quoi. Tout ce qui peut nous éviter du stress ou de la peur, avant, c'est que du bon pour le jour de la compétition. Every single time this guy steps up, I get goosebumps. He is so technical, so skilled, and so in control of everything out there. I really do feel we are looking at a future Olympic champion. Locking down the grab into the 720. Piecing the run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. And a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. Breaking out the huge nine and landing it so good. Just going down at the end. Nice, great height coming out of that jump. So let's see it used right. 360, landing stomped, nice. Ah. Wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. Stomping that 50-50, switch to front flip. Ow! Now that I was not expecting at all. Talk about bad luck. That would have been so smooth that that landing hadn't been botched. Piecing the run together with a very clean, very smooth 360. And into a big 720. A huge 720 perfectly nailed. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought that one was landing. I'd expect to see more than a backflip for the next one. This is the Olympics after all. And a perfect 360 with a clean touchdown. Cork 720, nice. A front flip really clean, but the next one will need to be bigger to impress the judges. A double backflip and stomping the landing perfectly. Clamping down hard with the grab during the huge, huge 1080. Nice. Double cork with a stylish grab. Taking some huge risk here with those massive tricks, but every one of them is paying off big dividends. Nailing that 720 and bringing it down, stomping that triple court and the landing. 180 landing stomped and into a big 720 and into the double backflip showing no signs of nerves here a big double backflip with a pitch perfect landing look at the hold time on that grab coming out of the 720 rodeo with the grab Cork with a grab. Double rodeo with a perfect grab. 
plenty of air coming out of that jump, but will it be used? Slotting a perfect grab into that massive 1440. 360, landing stomp, nice. Into the 360 with a smooth land. And a perfect so focused, so focused, and so in the zone like that. If you want to see what a true champion looks like, then focus. Opportunities for a break in his intense schedule, although few and far between, are the ones he'll cherish long after they've ended. With the test event in Korea under his belt, and another coming up in just one week's time, the next 24 hours are a chance to relax and take in the stunning Japanese backcountry at his own pace. Come on. 